Okay, this is Cool Dude Clem, who was going to do a direct video upload, but as you can probably see, every time I talk, the sound is way too high, and I've absolutely got no way of. Well, there doesn't seem to be any way of turning it down to a reasonable level. This is the webcam that I was going to use. It's a little Technica thing. Oh, actually, you can see my camera in the thing as well, if I can just get it. Uh, there we go, you can see my camera, as seen by the webcam. Anyway, I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you a little update on the amplifier thing that I'm doing. Put this project on hiatus for a while, but I decided to pull it out and experiment with it and see if I could get it going. And I've got good news. You know, I didn't get much power out of this before, and I'm thinking, you know, if I don't get this going with a decent amount of power, like Battery Maker once said in one of his videos, I'm going to start drinking. And, well, I'm not on the vodka yet, because this thing does seem to be working now. You might be able to see some little modifications I made. Maybe if I put the camera light on, you can see it. I added that resistor and capacitor between the emitter of one of the transistors and the ground. That seems to have made it a lot more powerful now, but less sensitive. And for some reason, the picture has gone incredibly blurry. What the hell's wrong with this stupid camera now? If I turn the light off. Okay, that seems to have fixed it. Also, this is a power supply that I've been working on. It's not a regulated supply, but it is ripple free. And this thing at the back here is a trip switch that came out of a train controller. I thought I'd add that so if something goes wrong, that's going to trip the trip switch. And it has tripped a few times while I've been working on this, so I know that works. Because a couple of times I accidentally shorted out some things. But now I'm getting at least 2 watts per channel out of that thing. Which is pretty good. Although it does seem to be doing some weird things as well. These are the input wires which go to, in this case, my um, Denon DRM... Was it? Denon DRM, I mean DRS810 cassette deck. Which I've just got out for servicing. And I noticed that along the input wires there was two volts. So I was trying to find a fault diagnosis of why it was not given out much power and yeah there was about two volts coming along the input wires even though there's two capacitors for each channel well one in each channel to try to stop that happening it still seems to come along so I've added these little non-electrolytic capacitors and that seems to have fixed the problem but in doing that it's got no base Anyway, I'll just give you a little demo of it working. And it does go really loud now. I got my beer, let mama sort it down in the sideboard here. Got my beer, let mama Turn this up. Down. I don't care if it comes down here. Don't know how loud that's coming out on the camera, but that is pretty bloody loud. I don't want to have that on too long because I don't want to annoy the neighbours. Mind you, after all the stuff they've put me through, maybe it's time for some payback. But anyway, those noisy neighbours have moved moved away now, so maybe it's not the best idea. Anyway, the other crazy thing this thing was doing, and I don't know if it's still doing it, is that these two transistors along here are getting incredibly hot. Or at least they were, because I touched one and it burnt my finger, which was a pretty stupid thing to do. I don't know if they're still hot, I'm just going to put my hand above them. Actually, I don't think they're getting hot anymore. No, just a little bit warm. Are these two transistors behaving themselves? Are they overheating? Nope, they're about the same as the others. Also, um, these... Um, now, I've done all those little changes, 
it seems much easier to adjust the bias with these potentiometers. They seem to work best halfway. And well, that's my little, little bit of an update on how the thing's going on with the amplifier adventure. Now, well, it looks like there's some kind of a circuit board. My camera webcam's looking at. I don't know what it's actually looking at. There's the webcam. Just follow it along. Oh, it must be this thing. I'll just, yeah, access my hand in the thing. So, I guess the next thing to do is try to figure out why this is coming in so loud. And then maybe I could do a direct upload. Oh, and it looks like I've got the light on my camera switched on. Yep, you can kind of see them both on the thing there. As I ramble on. Well, anyway, that's cool, dude. Clem out. Until next time, goodbye.